Chris Smith thank of you. New Jersey. I appreciate it. Thank you, and thank you for your testimony to our two witnesses. On April 27, I chaired a hearing on serious and credible allegations of collusion between CSIG and the Russian government in the persecution, mistreatment, and incarceration of a Russian family, the Bitkovs, who fled Russia after Putin's uh, cronies threatened their lives, took away their business, uh, and of course, the young daughter was raped, uh, uh, Anastasia, who, who obviously is still dealing with the aftermath of that. Our prime witness was Bill Browder, the main man whose tenacity, courage, and credibility uh, led to at least an accountability of what happened to Sergei Magdisky. It is because of Bill Browder that we have the Magdisky Act. It is because of Bill Browder that we have the Global Magdisky Act. So when he speaks, everybody should listen and should listen very carefully. And I share his concerns about the Bitcoffs. Uh, he is, uh, let me just say to my colleagues, uh, in 2013, the Russians fled, uh, uh, the, the Bitcoffs fled, I should say, and finally got to Guatemala uh, under an assumed name. They used documents that were not true, but again, for having documents that weren't true, and they are true refugees, the Palermo Protocol says you don't prosecute when somebody is fleeing tyranny and has a well-founded fear of persecution. Uh, Igor got 19 years in prison, Irina got 14 years, and Anastasia 14. Igor spent three years in pretrial detention, jail, uh, in, in a very, very unseemly pattern that CSIG uh, is, is a part of. Now, my question to our distinguished uh, colleagues today is, one, have you investigated and has there, has there ever been, is there now any collusion whatsoever between VTB, Gazprom Bank, Spear Bank, or any other person associated with the Russian government? and CSIG, including Yvonne Velasquez, on any matter relating, uh, relating uh, to the prosecution and incarceration of the Bitcoffs. Second, can you tell us uh, what kind of, of information do you have? Is there any accountability? I've asked the Secretary General of the United Nations, Gutierrez, why aren't you looking into this? Uh, he said, we have no authority to do so. He told me that just a few weeks ago uh, when I met with him. I am asking today, and I will do it by way of letter, that the Inspector General investigate the potential of collusion. I, my hope is that in answer to my question, you'll say that you have thoroughly investigated this and you either found it or you didn't, or to some degree there is some collusion. Uh, that, that's my opening questions, and I do have some further ones, but if you could answer that. Thanks for the question. Uh, you know, we, we, this is an issue that we follow closely. Um, our embassy and the department have looked into these allegations of uh, collusion thus far, have found no evidence uh, that that has occurred. Um, okay, let me say, no, wait a could you give us a detail of what that investigation included? I mean, was it done just asking Mr. Velasquez and a few others, hey, is there collusion, or did you really dig into documents and, and look into this? I call your attention to this, and we'll give you a copy an excellent piece that was put together by uh, uh, Mr. Bill Browder. Uh, this just reeks of collusion, so I would like to know exactly what that investigation entailed. Sure, I would look forward to receiving that, uh, that document, and uh, I think if you'll allow, allow us to get back to you with exactly what's been done, I'd, I think that'd be a more effective way of answering your question. Is there any mechanism for holding CSIG to account? I mean, there's a hold on their $6 million now that has finally gotten their attention. Two days before I had my hearing, uh, the Constitutional Court found in their favor. Again, we're talking about 19 years, 14 years, 14 years. People don't get that many years for murder in Guatemala. And CSIG then appealed that ruling and, uh, and is now, there's going to be another prosecution of, of, of at least Igor, which is absurd. I mean, if I was doing that with my family, and I would say the same to you, wouldn't you use every means possible to get out of a country that is going after you, uh, trying to, hurting your daughter, putting you into prison, and maybe even killing you? We've learned that from Sergei Magnitsky, I thought, and many others. We called our, our hearing the long arm of the Russians. Uh, what kind of, did, did, let me ask you again, is there any kind of connection between CSIG and the Russians? Again, thus far in our investigations, we've found no collusion between them. And no contact, no, no cooperation. 